Hi everyone. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, registering on bethematch.org. Did you know that every four minutes someone is diagnosed with some type of blood cancer? Particularly in my family, my aunt um, passed away a couple years ago from leukemia. Uh, so it um, hits home for me and really resonates with me. So because of that, I decided to join um, and be registered on bethematch.org. Um, when you do that, um, you are signing up to possibly be a match for someone who has uh, some rare illness or um, disor disorder where they need your um, possibly your bone marrow or your stem cells um, in order to recover and get healthier. Um, so what I wanted to do was um, kind of go over how um, you would be able to register and help someone else, someone else's life. Um, so with that, anyone is able to register. Um, however, you do have to meet certain criteria. Um, you have to be between the ages of 18 and 44, um, and you also have to be a citizen of the United States. And there are also some her certain health guidelines that you also have to um, meet too. Um, of course, they're gonna ask you for your height, your weight, your birth date, and um, if you have any medical conditions. Um, so if you do meet the criteria and you are able to join, um, what they do to, um, what they do is when you register, uh, first off, you're just joining the registry. Um, you're not donating anything or um, do anything yet. Um, so what you're gonna do first is um, open up the packet. There are two swabs in there. So what you're going to do is take one of the swabs and gently go across your gum line um, to collect the um, saliva in your mouth. And uh, you just follow in the instructions in the mailing kit. And so you're just gonna use these swabs and when you're done, you're gonna put the barbacoat on it, put it in the mailing kit and mail it off. So when you mail it off, they're gonna collect your tissue samples and they're gonna put you in the registry list. So when you register, you do not donate right away. All they're doing is they're putting you in the on in their system on the list. And what they'll do is they'll see if they can match you with any of their patients. It might not be a right away, you might even not ever get called. You might even get called like two years or five years from now, who knows? But if anything, but you signing up you can definitely help someone and you might even be able to save, save someone's life. So as of right now, um, Asians only have a 41% chance of finding a life-saving bone marrow or stem cell transplant match um, because the um, donors for Asians isn't that high. Um, especially for me, I'm Filipino. Only Filipinos make up 0.4% of the registry um, for the matches for um, those who uh, are trying to find a match um, in the system. So I just want to help out and um, send in my tissue swab. And um, so I just wanted to do my part and um, see if I could make a difference. So I decided to um, do my swab today and I'm going to send it in. And hopefully um, uh, I am a match for someone and I can possibly help them and change their life and even save their life um, in some way. Um, um, if you decide that you want to help people out, please donate and please register at bethematch.org. Okay. So now I'm going to collect these samples to send into the registry. So it comes with two swabs. So first you open the swab package, you're gonna take out one at a time. It says swallow your saliva first. 
and then you're gonna brush the swab inside your cheek along the gum line for 10 seconds. Okay, so that's the first one. Then it says to wrap one barcode label around the stick farthest from the swap tip, like a flag. So, I'm gonna do it like this. So there's the first one. Then we're gonna place the labeled stick onto the adhesive strip um, and they're gonna be, you're gonna place them on each one like that. Then I have to repeat the same thing with the second one. Okay, so here goes the second one. 10 seconds. So now I have to put the barcode again. And now I'm going to attach it to the other side of the cardboard adhesive. So it should look exactly like this. And that's it. You're done. All you have to do is put in the envelope, mail it back to the Asian American Donor Program, and you're all set. The postage is already paid, so all you have to do is put it in the envelope and drop it off. Simple as that.